What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and this was a viewer requested video. So today we're gonna go over all the different base plates that I own and that I actually use for the Glock 26. Some of these work for the Glock 27, but um, I will break that down as we do the video. We're gonna sort of get in depth on each one, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. And here's the thing, if you have one of these base plates on your firearms and it's not my favorite, that's fine. If it works for you, that's, that's what it's supposed to do. If it fits your hand properly, that's what it's there for. If it adds capacity and that's what you're looking for, then it works for you. Just because it's not my favorite doesn't mean it's not good for you or anyone else. Because honestly, I like all these base plates differently, but there's just some that I prefer. Anyways, let's start with my everyday carry Glock 26. This is a Henning Group plus two, but it does fit plus three. Now, some of mine that I have only fit two, but this one right here holds plus three. And now when something I'm going to tell you guys real quick. If it doesn't have a hole right here on your base plate, do not put that Glock OEM base plate in it. The spring is meant to just sit on the bottom of this plate. That's why some people get like the SLR Rifle Works base plate and stuff like that and they put that OEM um, little piece of plastic in there and then they only get 14 rounds. That is why. With You have metal base plates like this, it's meant to just sit on the bottom of them and if you don't have that hole, then you do not need that Glock um, little piece, little insert. Anyway, so that's the Henning Group. This is my go-to carry setup right here. I love this. It doesn't add a lot of length, and it's 13 plus 1. This is awesome. Now, you'll see I have Henning Group right here. Same thing on this Glock 26. I think this one holds 3 as well, though, which is nice. And the Henning Group does work on the Glock 27, but it's only plus 1. But it feels really ergonomic, and that's why I carry it on my OEM Glock 27. Right here is Springer Precision. This is nice because it doesn't add capacity. So for the people that live in mag restricted states and stuff like that and carry a Glock 26, this just gives you, you know, a little more room for your pinky to be on the firearm um, and adds a little, you know, character to your firearm with the color and stuff like that. But really well made, great material. This one you do need that little insert. And here's an example of it on, being on one of my Glock 26s. Even though it gives you no capacity, it still feels pretty good in the hand, and that's why I like it. And it's really well made, and like I said, it adds a little look to your firearm, which is nice. This right here is the Millspin Plus 5 base plate. Um, I actually really like this. It's great quality, great material, but it does add length compared to other 15-round mags and stuff like that, which we'll get into. Um, but it's durable, made of a good material, and Millspin is an awesome company, um, so support them. Right here is a Hive base plate. This one I actually really like. I just got this maybe a month ago. Um, it feels good in the hand. It gives you good ergonomics. There's just something about the way this sits a little forward compared to your um, the rest of your frame, and it gives you you know a really comfortable feel to it. So a lot of people like that three finger contact, as do I. I don't need it, but if it's there, I like it, and it looks really nice. Adds a little character to your firearm as well, so you can't beat it. This right here is a um, what is it? Hornet Precision base plate, made of metal using an X grip grip sleeve. So this is a Glock 19 mag with a Hornet Precision base plate and an X grip. I know this isn't a base plate, but this is a way you can get a 15 plus one setup, all OEM um, in your Glock 26. But compared to another setup in here, this is gonna be a little longer, but still 15 plus one for your Glock 26 and reliable, um, very ergonomic too. This right here is a rare base plate that you don't see very often, uh, sorry, often. This is Barracuda Tactical for the Glock 26 and 27. It's plus two or plus three for the Glock 26, but it's only plus one for the Glock 27. But the main reason I got it is to match this build right here, and this thing looks super clean. I love how they just made it simple, just a couple dots, and it looks super nice. Um, but the ergonomics are definitely on point. Um, feels really good in the hand when you're using this. I would compare it similar sort of to the Hive, but I think it looks better than the Hive base plate. But you guys can judge that for yourself. This right here is just a 3D printed mag sleeve. Um, you can find them all over the place. It has better texture than a lot of the other mag sleeves. That's why I chose just the dots. And this feels really good in the hand and you're gonna be using a Glock 19, 15 round mag still. So the reliability is there. Love that thing. Right here is the ultimate though. This cannot be beat. If you want a 15 plus one setup, a Glock 19 mag will sit down here. That mill spin base plate will sit down there. The shield arms base plate will sit down there. This one's 15 rounds. Make sure you do not use that OEM little piece in there. The spring is supposed to just sit on the aluminum base plate. But anyways, it's the SLR Rifle Works Plus 5 base plate. Only works for the Glock 26, not the 27. I have tried myself, and it's Malfunction City. But with this, on an OEM mag, it runs flawlessly. I have three of them, never a single issue, and it's super ergonomic, great texturing, just an awesome base plate. It's probably my favorite to run as a backup mag. 
This right here is just your OEM mag plus two from Glock. So this is all made from Glock. Even this base plate is 12 rounds. I'm sure you guys have seen this or know about this. Just thought I'd show it off because that is one of the options. Here's another option. It doesn't add capacity. So for people in mag restricted states, this is another great option for you. Um, but anyways, this, this right here is called the G plate or the G plate. And what it does is it like traps your two fingers on your firearm. Therefore, you feel like more support, um, can handle recoil better and so on. I like the idea. I just don't like the feel of it. So therefore, I took it off my mags, went back to my old base plate. But like I said in this video earlier, it might work for you. It might be your very best option. So try it out. This right here is an awesome setup right here. I really love the Strike Industries Plus 2. I have probably six or seven of them. So it's just a 12-round setup for the Glock 26, um, plus one for the Glock 27. But it's just an awesome setup. The way it goes together is great texturing. It sort of matches um, the OE or the Gen 4s pretty well. Um, but feels really good in the hand. Um, that's the main reason I use it. Even though it only adds plus two and it's a bit longer than some of my other base plates, it's the overall ergonomics it gives the firearm. Therefore, I use the Strike Industries often. Right here is just another magazine option. This is from uh, Magpul, and this is a, a 12 round mag. So it's not an OEM mag, so this is probably going to be not the most reliable magazine. So far, I've had no issues, but I would never run this magazine in my firearm for everyday carry, but for the range, go for it. This right here is a Shield Arms Plus 5 for the Glock 26. Now, I'm not sure what it if it adds for the Glock 27 or even works for the Glock 27, I should say, um, but I like it. It's, you know, obviously longer than that SLR Rifle Works base plate. Here's another one I have of the SLR Rifle Works. See if we can get a little comparison. I mean, it adds a lot of length. That SLR Rifle Works just can't be beat. I'm going to show, show you the 15 round Glock mag compared to it. It just can't be beat, guys. I'm telling you. And I, I actually messaged them and asked them, have you realized your sales have gone up at all from my channel? Because I always talk about this magazine. And honestly, I didn't like their answer to me. I didn't like the way they said things because I've put in a lot of work and a lot of videos on this base plate. So I know, and I've had so many people come back to me selling, saying they sold or bought them because of me and that they're sold out now and stuff like that. But it is what it is. I just, you know, I didn't like their response. It, it is what it is though. It's a great product. And then one of my favorite base plates out there, this is Millspin again. It is a plus zero. So once again, mag restricted states and so on. I just went to match the build. You see the back plate? base plate it looks super clean super smooth on this this used to be my everyday carry this thing is an awesome setup i still love this thing i really do um i just don't shoot as much anymore but it's a great setup that is a mill spin put mill spin plus zero and they make many different patterns and stuff like that to go along but those are the base plates i use like i said none of them are wrong they all work great i've had and I'm only showing you ones I've had zero reliability with. All these base plates have run flawlessly because I'm using OEM mags. And the only time you should ever change a spring out is if they say to change the spring out. If When you get the SLR Rifle Works base plate, this uses the 10 round mag spring because it's still so um, compacted in there. When you have 15 rounds, that spring still works great, locks the slide back, everything. Zero issues with these base plates. All reliable in my book. My top three though would be SLR Rifle Works number one, Henning Group, number two and then number three i gotta say the barracuda tactical it's just it just feels really good in the hand it's still really light and it just gives some character to your firearm so can't go wrong with any of them like i said anyways guys thanks for watching